We are Leah and Kevin from Tripping the Road. In the previous episode and also part 1 of this road trip to Portugal series, you could see how we hit the road again. The excitement to get back out there again was real. Eager to wake up in different places every morning, living life according to nature's rules and disconnecting from the daily rush we sometimes experience at home. Those first days road tripping through France tasted like more. Luckily for us we still had to cross Spain before arriving in Portugal. And so in this episode we are out on the road again, camping in incredible spots and enjoying the small things in life, just how we like it. Greeted by the warm evening sun in Spain, we were off to find ourselves a new camp spot. The location smart online weren't really our thing, so instead we searched for our own off-grid spot. I think we found a place, it's just not super easy to access it, so uh, we'll see how that goes. You know that saying, the best views come after the hardest climbs. I guess you could say that about this as well. After a lot of searching and effort, we got rewarded with this epic spot and an amazing view. And eventually we found a pretty nice spot. Look at the view here. And over there, somewhere we have some horses. Lee is already making dinner. Nice food in the making and a super nice view and I hope we will have a nice sleep as well. So we're stoked for another uh, off-grid camping here in Spain, first night in Spain. Olive oil, garlic, tomatoes and chef's kiss. Last and final and most important step, adding a lot and lots and lots of cheese. Mm. <laughs> this is the way to go. All right, we made it into our cozy crib. It really is cozy, isn't it? <laughs> and I think we decided which route we are going to take tomorrow to drive further down to Spain. Time for bed. <laughs> Meet our new dog, Pookie. Pookie. Hola, Pookie. <laughs> I don't think we want to leave, but uh, we need to leave. As in two days, tomorrow. Tomorrow we need to be in Ericeira. But I mean, damn. Definitely one of our favorite spots. So taking it all in. Hey. Uh -huh. mm. 
after a super chill morning, taking it slow and easy, we had to continue our way, driving through endless Spanish landscapes, following the sun south. Life on the road is all fun and games until you totally forget that it's Sunday. So now we are on a mission to find some bread and some food for tonight as well. Hmm. Moi. Mission accomplished. Are you guys ready to see our whole picnic setup? Even though it's only on a highway, we are still making the best of it. Ta-da! Shout out to the guy who has his shop opened on Sunday. Cheese from France yesterday and then sausage <laughs> already demolished because it's so good. We just bought it in the store from the, the guy as well here in Spain. I call the undercount. Kevin is the one driving, so uh, it's the least I can do, I guess. Double checking if she does her job well. <laughs> We leave the dry landscapes behind and we drive into the mountains, looking for yet another new camping spot, preferably a peaceful spot somewhere out in nature, just how we like it. first and that is going for a dip in the lake right behind me and which is also our new camping spot after four long and hot days in the car this big pool of water was more than welcome and looked so freaking tempting so of course we went straight in This was uh, our first shower, kind of. It's not even a real shower in four days on the road. <laughs> so it was very welcome and it felt really nice. We just came to the realization that we forgot to buy cheese, Parmesan cheese, which is like the key ingredient when we are cooking pasta, so uh, that's kind of a sad story. game night it is but unfortunately it didn't last long as we were exhausted from another day on the road i just checked the weather reports in portugal 
and it's currently raining and it will so for the coming days as well. But we won't let our mood be ruined by the weather predictions on our smartphone. I mean, how could you when waking up here? And the most important one, we always have it with us when we sleep in nature. You never know. <laughs> I'm always more relaxed when I have this next to me to fall asleep. So we are looking up how much the toll would be from here to Ericeira. So we can decide if we will take like the highway and pay toll or just take the smaller roads. But then it's like more turns and stops. So uh, let's see. Oh, 90 euros. So uh, I think it's decided. <laughs> we'll take the normal route. Oh shit. Okay, tolls 17 euros, fuel 66. Oh, okay. We're going to take <laughs> the highway. <laughs> okay, it is decided. <laughs> what better way than to get our trip to Erisera going with a power shot. We already drank one Ooh. and it was heavy so hopefully I don't die. Cool. <laughs> Tall. Yeah. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Traveling with a Defender never goes without some problems. Yeah, the car drove a little bit weird in 4th and 5th gear, so... Weird noises as well, but Kevin checked and... Everything looks fine, so... It looks fine. We're going on the highway, so let's hope uh, that the car drives uh, how it should be. Fingers crossed. And we also just discovered that we are only welcome, or yeah, we only just booked the apartment in Irisira from tomorrow, not today. So we are like way ahead of on schedule. So uh, we'll have to figure out what we will do tonight. We continued the road with no further problems despite those weird noises. And we had absolutely no idea what the plan was for the rest of the day or where to go this evening. This sucks so hard in planning. Oh yeah, tripping the road. But I do think we found something, a cute Airbnb, because uh, our mindset was uh, bad. So <laughs> we will skip the rooftop then for tonight and then tomorrow 
is Irisera. With bad weather predictions, no plan, and a car that makes weird noises, we continued on Ray. To top it all off, the cute Airbnb we wanted to book, well, they couldn't get it ready by tonight. 